Okay, so since the last video was extremely long and I didn't really plan on doing that, um, I'm going to try to make this one a little shorter. Uh, my name is Ross again, and I'm a producer for ER. And I'm going to do a tutorial today about just basic effects to kind of put on your track and to put on uh, different aspects of your track to make it sound uh, cleaner and just better as a whole. So, yeah, hope you enjoy Okay, so like I said, trying to gonna try to make this tutorial a little shorter than last one because that one just got out of hand. Um, basically, all I'm gonna talk about in this one is some basic things to put on your master track to make it sound better. Um, if you're experienced, this is gonna seem like really stupid to you, but for a beginner, they might not know that this is basically all you need to do to stop your track from clipping, or at least clipping is bad. So, I'm just going to play this. I have a set of chords on a basic piano using uh, the Nexus plugin. Um, I'll put a link in the description to buy it. It's really expensive, but I guess if you want it. Um, and then I'm just using the plucks that I made in Citrus uh, from the first tutorial that I talked about the reverb sense and the delays. Um, yeah, so here's what I have right now. It's going to be clipping, but I'm going to show you some effects to put on it to make it sound uh, better. And I'll, I'll even exaggerate it more by, um, I'll up their volume sliders on the mixer. Just, it's probably going to sound really distorted, but uh, here we go. It's just clipping up here uh, like crazy, it's just red, and you can hear it, it just sounds, it doesn't sound good, I'll tell you that. Um, so the first thing you want to do, just to stop from clipping, is just put a limiter on there. A limiter basically puts a cap on your track saying, uh, it can't go any higher than this, and this is the ceiling right here. So just put the limiter ceiling, just keep that at zero decibels, and that way it's gonna stop it once it gets up here to zero. You don't want it going any higher than zero. Like, if your track's not loud enough or whatever, you can put some gain on it, but you don't want to ever have the ceiling above zero. That's just then that's when you start hearing the clipping and start start hearing distortion and stuff. So, um, yeah. So just just doing that. I don't know why I click play there. But just doing that, I mean, you can see that it's going to cap it at zero here. So I'll just show you quick again. Now it's still sounding, still sounding distorted, but when you take these volume sliders back down, it's going to sound a little better. And you see that this one is still clipping here. So, I mean, I'm saying putting a limiter on the master, but you're going to want a, a limiter, like, on each, each, uh, each track, so we'll put a limiter on here too. Um, I mean, that already sounds better, you can hear. And you're always going to want to put this little knob down to minus three decibels, or even, you could even make it less than that, but never want it higher than that. And that's just based on like signal to noise ratio. I'm not going to explain it here, but minus three decibels, that way you're getting 100% sound instead of like 75% sound and 25% noise or whatever. It's just from uh, based on computer rendering and stuff like that. So negative three decibels there. And you can see, uh, can I pause it, pause it? Well, it's pausing by itself now. But you can see where it's doing its job. It's, it's obviously, once it hits that negative three mark, it's hitting the soft saturation threshold and it's kind of, uh, I guess, limiting it. Now the second thing, this is the attack, so how fast it kicks in, the release, how long it holds on after the signal gets out of the threshold, and then the head is um, basically how far ahead the limiter looks to prepare to um, limit the signal, I guess. Like all this stuff is really advanced stuff that I'm not going to go over right now, but... Um, and then the second thing is you can... The thing that's good about this plugin is a limiter and a compressor all in one, so you can click compressor, and just just to get some little a little bit of compression, just put it down to minus eight decibels, uh, a two to one compression ratio, 
and I'm going to take the release down, put the attack up a little bit, look ahead a little more, and that way it's going to compress a little bit. It's not going to let it get all the way up there to the soft saturation threshold before it starts limiting it. So here, uh, I'll play it again quick. So it already sounds better. And just by taking just by taking these volume sliders down in here, it's going to sound not as loud, but you're going to it's going to sound uh, cleaner. And like I said, you can you can get it to be loud again by just upping the gain on here. So here it is um, with the volume sliders down. So there you don't hear any of that uh, nasty clipping noise. And uh, yeah, that's just that's about it for limiters. Um, another thing I'll tell you just really basic to put on your master track is just a parametric EQ and there should be a preset in here 30 kilo, or thirty hertz and 18 kilohertz cut just put that on there and that's just going to cut out everything below 30 hertz which is just really low sub noises that you can't even hear anyways with your ear you can feel it but you can't hear it and then above 18 kilohertz which you really can't hear either it's just kind of like noise that's muddy up the track and uh, that's about all I got for today for this tutorial. I'm doing a lot of tutorials today just because I'm bored and procrastinating for schoolwork and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, hope that helps and uh, no more clipping. So thanks. Subscribe if you like our stuff and hope to see you back for another tutorial. Thanks.